This is the amazing story of outsider artist Angus McPhee. It's a poignant tale of lost traditions and casualties of war. Angus was raised on the beautiful Hebridean island of South Uist and was deeply affected by the early loss of his mother and the Second World War. Angus was diagnosed with simple schizophrenia while garrisoned on the Faroes and spent 50 years in a psychiatric hospital near Inverness. While he was there, he hardly spoke, but with an intuitive creativity and using the ancient craft of the islands, he wove the most amazing garments out of grass. And these are now exhibited in museums and galleries all over the world. It is all grass, all of it, nosing green, springing to lank, to waste, bending to blast, blown, buffeted, nosing green again, last first, first last. When his horse died, Angus wove a harness of stout grass and pulled the cart himself to the peat bog. Laden, he hauled it back across the slack and sucking land. Junior Vaux, Savar, they called him. Big, quiet man. tongue wove nets to tame wind snatch tether the thatch to earth to stonework hung rocks to hold it down harness his life to this sweet place
as spiders hold their thread from stem to stem to weave the light. What do they care if all that skillful labour's lost when wind unravels it, unpicking all their careful artistry? As birds weave leaf and stalk into their nests, abandoning them to decay when fledglings leave, only to build them back again in spring. So Angus haunts the woodland hour on hour, labouring under branches, quiet, unseen, pulls buttercup, vetch, clovers, winding flowers like wild embroidery into cloths of green, makes mufflers, tailored jackets, sprouting hats, garments for a giant or a king to stalk the hills and sport the finery that he has wrought in his imaginings and then forgets. So all this fine attire is left to rot and compost in the rain. He watches gardeners rake them on a pyre of autumn leaves and crafts them all again because he must. Watches their ashes wind up towers of smoke soaring like elegies to distant landscapes of the mind. Making of these most precious gifts a sacrifice. <laughs>